Hey there, how are you? My name is George Daniel and in this video I will show you how you can do translations in Dynamics 365 and Model Driven Power App. First, you need to know that you can enable multiple languages for your users to choose from. If you're wondering how, check out the video in the description. Having done that, your users can now choose their preferred language. To do so, they need to go into their personalization settings and from languages, choose their user interface language. I'm going to choose Portuguese, which is my native language. The app will reload and if you noticed, there are some things that got translated and others that didn't get translated. As you can see, accounts and contacts did, but support cases and service agreements didn't. What's happening here is that standard tables and standard columns got translated, while custom ones didn't get translated. So, what can you do? Well, you can download the file, do the translations and then upload it. Let's do this together. So, go into your Maker Studio, choose and open your solution, then expand this one here on the left and go to Overview. From here, you can export your translation. Now, this may take a minute or so, depending on the size of, size of your solution. So, I have re already done this. So, what you get is a file, a zip file, that you need to unzip. And you'll get a couple of files. So, open this one, CRM translations, with uh, Excel and you get three worksheets so the first one is just information the second one display strings this should be alright so let's go to localized labels and as you can see there's a column for each enabled language in your system in this one, there are only two, the base one, English, 1033, and the, the, the Portuguese language, which code is uh, 2070. And as you can see, there are a lot of cells with no content. These cells relate to a table, a custom table, the service agreement table. If we uh, go below and look at the account table, you can see that these cells, they do have contact. contact. So let's do uh, some changes here. Maybe translate the name, the, the principal name service agreement. Let's translate this to Acordo de Serviços. That's Portuguese. Um, and here it's the plural name. And maybe there. Okay, okay. Okay, here as well. Acordo de serviços. Okay, just these ones. So let's save this. And now we need to repackage this into a zip file. So what I usually do is copy this, then get this tool and compress the zip, change its name. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't copy as I should. So just, uh, yeah, copy, rename and just change the version number, okay? So, now we can go back 
to our solution, translations, and this time we are going to import a file. Okay. Here we go. So we want the, yeah, this one open and import. Let's give it um, the, the needed time. <laughs> And it's done. Okay, so let's get back to our uh, app and uh, refresh. Okay, and as you can see, service agreements got translated. So what you need to do is translate all labels in these um, custom tables so you get the language you want in your user interface. So, this was fun, right? Remember to connect uh, or follow and drop me a line should you run into any trouble. See you soon!